Okay. Now this is uh, Darkseid, uh, who has his name over the Justice League uh, title, and this is my second. Uh, my, this is my second best read uh, of last week, uh, next to uh, Forever Evil. That's my f uh, first favorite. But this one tells about Darkseid's origin and how he became Darkseid, and how he came, o how he took over the planet, which is now on fire. When you know, when he was just a regular Joe, that planet was just like a planet like ours, and to he overcame all the gods on that planet and uh, just took over that whole planet and now that planet is a planet that's on fire. It's just a big Armageddon planet and it's all right here and you gotta go get it. Now the, these last ones I haven't got around to reading yet because there's so many of them and I got a lot. So anywho this one's about the cyborg Superman, who who made his first appearance during the death of Superman. And I heard, even though I haven't read it, everyone who's read it uh, said it's really good. Uh, no idea what's going on in this one, I'm sorry. But this one, even though I haven't read, also I heard it was decent. This is uh, Ventriloquist. Now, uh, back in the days, there was a Ventriloquist who would channel his uh, third personality, or his second personality, into a dummy. And he named it Scarface, which was uh, a mob boss. And everyone would listen to this dummy, even though it was just a dummy. And they would, you know, think that he, it was, you know, he was real. Now, apparently, this is the Ventriloquist's daughter. Because he died a few years ago. And here's a decent read. And knowing me, I'll probably like it. Because I like everything. And I haven't heard anything about this one. But next week, I'll let you know. Because, um... I am a green arrow fan and I would just haven't got around reading it but uh, I'll let you know about it next week okay now pretty soon we're going to take a break and when we come back I'll be at my favorite comic store Newcastle Comics Newcastle Comics is in Maryland Heights next to Aquaport and they have all back issues uh, but before we take a trip out there, I want to talk about the seri uh, I want to talk about uh, why I think Batman's the best and why it's not Superman. Now, this talk we people have been talking about this for decades. Who's the better superhero, Batman or Superman? Yes, Superman. Uh, uh, he is pretty powerful and. He's everything the Avengers is all in one, but this is why Batman's better. Batman knows every supervillain and superhero's weak spot. He stood up for weeks, uh, how to, he would expose their weak spot and a plan on how you go about uh, beating them, uh, exposing their weak spot. And he also knows, he you know, he even knows uh, his team members, the Justice League, he knows how to take them down. And if you read, watch the Justice League Doom, it will show you why, uh, show you all that what I'm talking about. And yes, everyone's quick to jump that Superman's the best because, but they're not even thinking about, you know, Superman's worst enemy, Lex Luthor, which is basically Batman, but evil. If Batman was evil, he would be Lex Luthor. He has all the money, and he beats Superman by either hiring somebody or coming up with the, uh, the clones, like we talked about before, 
or he buys a super suit and takes care of business himself. Whatever which way he does it, uh, it doesn't matter if he pays someone who does it or not, or he does it himself. It's his plan, and uh, let's not forget, Lex Luthor is just crazy. He doesn't have any superpowers. Uh, now, Batman also took out Superman before, even without using Kryptonite. There's a comic book by Frank Miller called Dark Knight Returns, when Superman uh, is in the 60s and there's mutants everywhere and he's been retired for 10 years and he feels like, okay, I need to come back. And he comes back and he's even more brutal and more dark than he was before. Now, at this time, there's no call for, no, he, the, the law of vigilante is even more of a big no-no and uh, they just don't want it to happen. Um, and Superman's the president's right-hand man. Now, the president wants to send Superman out there to stop Superman. Now, see, this is where it gets, uh, now this is where people get both, there's a sequel called uh, Dark Knight Rising where Green Ale shoots Superman with the Kryptonite Arrow. But, see, people get those two crossed over. Dark Knight Returns, Green Arrow doesn't hit Superman with the Kryptonite Arrow. It's just Superman takes is going to go take down Batman. Batman knows he's coming, so he puts together this super suit that gives him super strength and can withstand some of Superman's uh, super blows. And he puts that together, and then he vents this super shocker that works with a magnet uh, that. If you put it into a metal, it can give you, a, you know, a super, super charge, and it can super shock you. And he fight, goes to battle with Superman, and Superman thinks he has them pinned, and he has Batman, you know, on the ground. He thinks he has Batman when he wants them. Little does he know, Batman has Superman where he wants him, and he hits the magnet on the pole and he zaps Superman on the shocker and Superman goes blah, 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 blah. and that's that that's it uh, Superman Batman Superman is defeated by Batman and he takes his uh, tucks his tail behind his legs and he goes home now see people would say yes if there's a fight to the death yes Superman would win, but Super Batman knows that Superman, unless Superman is being mind controlled or becomes bad guy, that he's not going to try to kill uh, Batman. And Batman would use that against Superman. And um, also, they always put Batman and Superman in comic books together. Why? Because they complement each other. Uh, now after all saying all this, uh, if you still don't believe me, you're welcome to have your own opinion, but I proved it right here by telling you how he can take out Superman without even kryptonite. Because Batman doesn't care about your superpowers, he's just going to take you down. And that's what's up. So, now... We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we will be at my favorite comic store, Newcastle Comics. And if you're in the St. Louis area in two weeks, they got a, their convention, Project Comic Con, which the creator of Deadpool, George Prez, and the super uh, cross-play model, Taffy Darling. That's going to be there along with a whole bunch of other cool artists and even some guy named Angus Armblong. He does some really cool work on uh, Adult Swim. So, 
If you're in the area, regular tickets are twenty dollars. VIP tickets are seventy five. Now with the VIP, you can get unlimited beer, unlimited energy drinks, and unlimited uh, food. And if really, it's really gonna be a really good convention. And if you're in the area, you should go. Okay. Now we're gonna take a break, and when we come back, I'm gonna we're gonna talk about my weekly, and we'll talk to the people who work at the comic store, and it's gonna be really cool. See you then.